BAE Systems Program to design and manufacture an advanced military GPS receiver and next-generation semiconductor has completed a critical design review, CDR. The Military GPS User Equipment, MGUE, Increment 2 Miniature Serial Interface, MSI, program is part of a $247 million contract received in 2020 from the U.S. Space Force. The MSI includes a next-generation application-specific integrated circuit, NGASIC, which will provide enhanced security and performance of M-Code technology. It can also be easily transitioned into future BAE Systems M-Code GPS receivers. Clearing CDR is a major milestone that paves the way for smaller high-performance receivers on the battlefield, said Luke Bishop, Director of Navigation and Sensor Systems at BAE Systems. We are one step closer to delivering our warfighters the next generation of global navigation satellite system position, navigation, and timing. The MGUE Increment 2 program has two goals. The first is to develop an advanced, security-certified M-Code NGASIC, which provides assured position, navigation, and timing, PNT, in GPS jamming and spoofing environments, incorporates multi-global navigation satellite system, GNSS, robustness, and reduces power consumption. This capability will support military users and weapon systems in airborne, maritime, and ground domains. The second is to develop and qualify a small form factor MSI GNSS receiver for use in applications requiring low size, weight, and power. This allows for easier integration into a wider range of platforms, including battery powered dismounted applications. The program is scheduled for completion in 2025 and will then be deployed to the U.S. and its allies. Work on the MGUE Increment 2 program is conducted at BAE Systems Facility in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The company's portfolio of MCO GPS receivers provides flexible, efficient, and reliable navigation and guidance solutions for airborne systems, precision munitions, handheld receivers, and embedded applications.